uh, to this time. And it's all thanks and adoration unto him. Without him, there is nothing that we can do. Without him, there is no life within us. So we thank him for making us see the last month. And uh, we know he's going to glide us through as well. So that we will end it successfully in, in his peace and his love that he, he has granted unto us. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. We started with many, uh, many people, but uh, we cannot find all of them. But we thank God that he has kept us uh, safe and sounding him and has always fed us with his word to come and also share with you as well on desert evangelism the road less traveled hallelujah so that's always counted joy when it comes into his presence because it's not by might not by our power not by our own intelligence but by his spirit the holy spirit that he gave unto us the truth that he's revealed through him unto us so that we may also reveal christ unto others it is by his privilege that we sit here with you this moment on desert evangelism the road less traveled god bless you for being in tune with us and god bless you for also staying with us from january till now and i believe we have been blessed by the spirit of god as he has blessed us through many 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 series that we have had with him hallelujah and we can always always say that it is by his strength and it's by his power that we are able to do all things so as we are drawing closer to the end of 2023 uh we know that god is going to open a new chapter in our lives as he's revealing to us true witnesses and i believe he has something wonderful for us coming 2024 to step mm-hmm. out to the world and go and make disciples of all nations the great commission that he gave unto us that's why this platform by the leadership of the holy spirit through our bishop bishop eric amua started this uh, platform for us to reach out to all those of works of life, all those in all parts of the world, to preach unto them the good news of our King Jesus, the one who came to lay down his life for you and I, that through him we might be saved. Hallelujah. Anyone who keeps on his name and confesses him as the Lord and personal Savior, ah, is saved through him. Hallelujah. Because he's the only begotten Son of God, the firstborn of the those that are dead, who was risen for our sake, so that through him our lives may be uh, recounted in Christ Jesus. So we thank God Almighty uh, for, mm-hmm. for making that ability for us and also laying down his life for us. So it come 2024, I believe that as you have been taught to be true witnesses, we will step mm-hmm. out there in the boldness, uh, in the image of God Almighty through his son who has come to reveal unto us because he's the one from heaven and he's the one who can tell us the heavenly thing. So has mm-hmm. he come to reveal us that we are the sons of God. So therefore we walk in that modality, we walk in that pattern of his son Jesus Christ that we may go into the world and bring life light to those that are in darkness so that they also can come and be partakers of the inheritance of the sons of god so god bless you for staying to you with us from january till now and as we are going to head on to today's session uh, i encourage you this moment to also share this link uh, invite your friends your loved ones to come and join us so that we together today will steady to show ourselves up to grow much more in the knowledge of god so that we be, may be able to do the will of the father that it has been encountered upon our life so i believe you are being a blessing to somebody at this moment by sharing this link to your friends and loved ones, and also telling them that it is time for desert evangelism the road less travel brought to you by christ my church my name is Emmanuel Arno. I am here with brother Isaac Yedu and our bishop Bishop Eric Amwa hallelujah who is here with us and I believe uh, they had a wonderful week and uh, poised by the power of the Holy Spirit to also bring much more revelation onto us on today's desert evangelism the road less travel uh, I welcome you onto desert evangelism thank you thank you um, thank you amen amen we thank God for that and uh, bishop you wanted to say something no that's okay I'm, I'm I'm just excited to be here today to listen to what God has for, for you and for all of us. And I hope that our believers will be tuned in and carry out. I just want to be thankful for God for having brought us this far, uh, mm-hmm. together with all our followers and uh, all the believers of this world. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. God bless you. And, uh, you know, before we begin, we cannot begin without the presence of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. He's the one that ushers us. He's the one that leads us said. As many that believe in in his name and are led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god so this moment he's the one that's going to reveal christ unto us even though we have studied even though we have gone through the scriptures he's the one behind the scriptures he's the one that inspired men to write the scriptures so it is very important for us to acknowledge his presence in our midst and also give thanks to god almighty for such an opportunity to sit under his feet to study of him so at this moment in just a few moments let's just begin to give thanks unto god almighty for what he has done for what he's doing and for what he's about to do in our life through his holy spirit and through his son that he sent off on this earth to reveal uh, the Father unto us. Let's begin to give thanks unto Him for the gift of Father. Let's begin to thank Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. all the glory, we give you all the honor, we give you all the praise. 
thank you, God Almighty, for the God that you are doing in our lives, God. Thank you for what you are doing in our lives, God. Yes, yes, yes. For your mercy, for your kindness, Father, we come and we shed upon us. We thank you for the grace, the grace, the grace. The Lord Almighty, we are perfect before you, and Lord, we are able to do what you will be doing. For your spirit that is working in us, we find out for the good and the good of life that we may be able to make the light bearers of you. We thank you for such a good time. We thank you for our viewers. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our loved ones. We thank you for our family. We thank you for the good that you have done for us. From January to now, you are the one that I have had. The mighty precious white hand of me that has kept us in your perfect way. Father, we do not take this day for granted. We do not take this day for granted. We pray that one of you has brought you to my Lord. Today, your grace might be seen. Your power might be God. Your glory may fill our hearts. So God, that your love may be seen abroad in our hearts. At the end of it, Lord, for the most glorious and holy spirit, take absolute control. Whether you are down or holy spirit, the stage is for you. Take absolute control. Let us yield to our voice. Lord, we should trust in you. And Lord, we know we should acknowledge you. We are part of the whole of everything. We give you everything, Father. We give you the glory. The glory goes to you. Thank you for your peace. That surpasses all understanding. To us, and just grace. Amen. 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 We thank you, King Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you for joining us and also sharing in a moment of prayer, acknowledging the presence of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> it's time to uh, delve into the scriptures um, on desert evangelism, the road less travel. I uh, welcome you once again to today's platform. Don't forget, please share it and also grab your notebooks, your pens, and your pencils. It's very important for us to write things down. And for us to take note of what God has for us, there are deep things that God continues to reveal unto us. As uh, we have our bishop here and have Brother Isaac here with us as well. Chief Master the Stark, but that's the Holy Spirit with us. Uh, uh, things begin to unfold on for us also to understand His will and His purpose for us in our life. So God bless you uh, at, at this moment uh, for staying tuned with us and also coming on board to share on desert evangelism, the road less traveled, brought to you by Christ Redeemer really Church. For the past month now, we've been heading on the topic a true witness, a true witness, and much has been said. And I, I encourage you, you go back to our YouTube page, Christ Redeemer really Church, um, Toronto, and our YouTube page as well, and our Facebook, Christ Redeemer really Church, Toronto, and you find these messages there because you only have an hour, and most often than not. Time is favorable or unfavorable unto us. Hallelujah. That's why sometimes I say, fortunately or unfortunately, it can be up to us. Hallelujah. And I know we, as you have begun, time's already uh, uh, running very fast. Hallelujah. And I believe uh, <laughs> the one who put us in time also has an advantage over the time. So I believe the Holy Spirit will, will be able to uh, uh, take us through what He has for us today. Hallelujah. And by so doing, we'll be able to achieve much more than uh, time will give us. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So Amen. we'll look we'll deep, deep into it. So I want us to grab our notebooks and our pens and our pencils. As I read the base scripture for us, mm -hmm. as we see in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I read from verse 1. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all him might believe. He was not that, that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And... The word became flesh and God among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. And amen. 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 This has been our base scripture for the past month now. And uh, we have gone through a lot. Bishop has brought us a lot. And uh, uh, last week was very interesting. Hallelujah. I enjoyed that one very, very much. That I had time to play it over and over and over <laughs> to see the things that 
God was revealing unto us. And it's it's very marvelous when we see that God wants to model us into sons. Hallelujah. As we have seen from the scriptures that the word was with God, the word was God, and the word was life. And that life became the light of men. As we saw that to be a true witness, you must be a carrier of the light of God. Hallelujah. So are we also looking at the sons of God to be the true witnesses of the Father when we step out into the world. Hallelujah. And then uh, as we saw, that a witness is uh, a true witness is someone who was there when things were unfolding is able to bring much more evidence uh, uh for people to to be able to see the thing to paint a picture in the hearts of people that they could bring uh, uh, the, the thing that th their eyes could not see and make it visible for us to be able to see what truly truly happened and transpired that through that that in my belief mm -hmm. those of us that were not here when christ was upon this earth he, he, he laid it through the Holy Spirit to his apostles who became the sons of the kingdom to be able to propagate the gospel to us so that out of these apostles today, we can also testify about Christ by the empowerment of the Holy Spirit who was mm -hmm. given to us, who through the, the son sent unto us, said as he's going, he was sent for the comforter who will come and teach us, who will not come to speak of himself, but will come to testify about Christ so that he will paint that picture unto us that we may see the son of God so that we, through him, might be able also to testify. So he said, anyone that comes without the Spirit of God, no one can testify that Jesus Christ is Lord. So it is true, the Holy Spirit, that we can testify that Jesus Christ is Lord. Without the Holy Spirit who brings us into the sonship, we cannot truly, truly testify that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Because mm -hmm. his Spirit, and those that come to him must believe that he is. He mm -hmm. is. Is, and it's a reward of those that diligently seek him. Hallelujah. So mm -hmm. that was what we have been looking at for the past week. For the past month and uh last week uh we saw that um uh uh, uh in verse as verse um 11 says he said he came um 12 but as many that received him to them he gave the right the right to become the sons of god and we saw that the spirit of god uh who witnesses christ unto us comes in to shape us to model us uh mm -hmm. into, into 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 sons in the son of god is, is a position in god hallelujah as we saw in isaiah 6 that to us a child is born but a son is given unto us hallelujah the, the son of god um that is jesus christ came he studied about he said he grew in the knowledge the wisdom and the stature of 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 the word of god hallelujah and mm -hmm. through that when the spirit of god came and he aligned with the spirit that he was led by the spirit so bible also tells us that as many that are led by the the, the spirit of god they are the sons of god so we see that as we the spirit of god seeks to model us and position us uh, uh in that frame for us to become the sons of god to model uh the 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 sons of god to be able to go out there and preach the word of god and speak much more of the word of god in with true conviction uh painting the picture of of christ unto others you see you said the light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it so when the sons of god manifest they begin to displace darkness hallelujah mm -hmm. we begin to have effect on darkness because that's where the enemy has kept us as john 2 16 speaks that they said god gave us his only begotten son he came into the world he said but he said men loved darkness hallelujah why because that's where the enemy had enslaved us that's where the enemy had put us but god came that his through the life of his son Mm -hmm. the, the life of his son may become the light of men so he came to bring light to his people hallelujah so that we may come to reveal who truly we are because bible makes us understand in genesis that we were created in his image and his likeness so we are created in the image of god but through disobedience the enemy uh, put us in darkness so the son of god came and dwell among us that's the word of god came to dwell among us and model that life for us to see so that we may be bear witness and know who truly we are and we saw that he said the father and the son are one as john 10 30 says i and my father are one so everything that the son was doing was what the father was also doing hallelujah and in john john chapter 3 says that there, as the father has life in himself so has he given life to the son of god hallelujah and to the son of god as well we may also have life in him that is eternal life so as many that come to believe in the son of god we have eternal life within us hallelujah and we can be witnesses of him by the operation of the spirit of god that is within us hallelujah mm -hmm. we also saw that the spirit of uh of god helps us attain that position of the sons that he can reveal the father through us 
and it's only the son who knows the mind of the father it is only the son who knows uh, 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 the, the things that the father wants us to do hallelujah mm -hmm. because he's the only begotten he's the one that has come from the father so for us we also be true witnesses of the uh, 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 the, uh, uh of or to reveal the father unto the, those that are in darkness it is for us also to allow the spirit of god to work within us allow the spirit of god to lead us as allow the spirit of god direct us is that our spirit and the spirit of god bears witness that we are the sons of god so we need the spirit of god to confer upon us that position of sonship so that we may go out there in boldness in that authority to be able hallelujah to 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 uh, bring sons into the scene hallelujah so mm -hmm. it is for us to take that position of sons and reveal the father unto the world hallelujah so uh that is what we have been dealing with and uh today uh, i believe that uh we we, we, we should we'll be able to to delve much more into it and as well also uh, um see what god wants us to 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 be and mm -hmm. how we can model or be the sons of god hallelujah but isaac if there's anything i left out uh we can uh you can bring it out as well hallelujah amen amen uh, i i believe you you have said it all so um we can continue amen amen okay. and also um as our father said uh last week the the, the topic of sonship is is not gender based yeah. it's, it's it's not about it's being female. a male or a female because mm. he said he created man male and female he created us hallelujah so before mm. we became being a male and female we were men mm. <laughs> we were already sons of god hallelujah mm. so uh, it's not gender based uh, mm. uh, 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 uh that we are talking about here but being the, of position the, the position hallelujah mm. that we have in god almighty so before we begin i have a question i wanted to ask and then i believe that's gonna keep the ball rolling for us mm -hmm. uh, hallelujah and i believe you have already um uh, seen from the scriptures that it is the spirit of god uh that models us into uh the sons of god so for mm -hmm. for benefit of our viewers that are watching us or for those that that are new in christ or those that have, uh, are now hearing the good news about king jesus now i want us to find out uh how 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 can we be the sons of god i know the spirit of god that works within us and as we align ourselves what what can we do because I, I I hear some some people say when they come into Christ, Christ has finished everything for us. So uh, maybe that makes us the sons of God. So as Christ has finished everything and we come into Christ, uh, we can sit and then do what we want, and we have become the sons of God. Is that right? Can we say that? Hallelujah! For the sake of our our viewers that are watching us and those that have come into the body of Christ for new or you have come new preachers, uh, is that what uh, uh, makes us sons of God? that what gives us the right to become the sons of god what can we say what can we learn from that mm -hmm. you want to go first or brother isaac i think i will let the bishop go first <laughs> what makes us the sons of god that's uh that's a great question what what makes us sons of god um what i see from it is that you know, being be, being a son of God, as you indicated or you said, that it's not it's not in, it has nothing to do about gender, but it's everything to do with uh, our position that God places us. But first of all, you know, you need to understand from the from the Jewish background what it really meant to be a son, to be able to be really appreciate what God is trying to do for us here. Mm. Yeah. Sonship in the Jewish uh, uh, custom or tradition is mm. a position. It's a position which, whereby you see that the son inherits from the father. The, mm. the son becomes the custodian of everything that the father has. He becomes mm. the head manager of everything that the father has. Mm. He reflects the will of the father. He reflects everything that the father wants to do. Mm. The father does not go out doing things, but you know, the That's father sad. when 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 the father is by himself, let's mm. say before the, 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 the child or the son is born into that mm. position, or the child is good to that position, the father mm. does a lot of things by himself. Mm. But when the son comes of age and assumes the position that that 
that's what they are groomed up to, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they come into a position whereby now they they are they are in charge of everything that the father has. Mm -hmm. They they go out and portray the will and the father, the mm -hmm. will of the father to the workers and the people all around. Mm -hmm. So being a male does not necessarily make you the son mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. When the father is talking about the son, he's talking about inheritance. The one who's going to take over, the one who's going to exhibit, mm -hmm. the one who's going to show the things of the father and comply with the things of the father. Mm. So this is what it meant in, in a short in a, in a in a short sense to be a son. Mm. And the scriptures is telling us that we are put. Paul says that we are uh, when we are born again, we are we are we are adopted mm. as sons. Into the into the household of God. So in this position as sons, we are then commanded to exhibit the things of the Father, to show the things of the Father. Mm. So if I am not complying, I am not exhibiting the things of the Father. If I am not speaking from what I hear the Father, mm -hmm. then I I I can be uh, called to be in the darkness because I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. The position of a son has to do something. Let us quickly, let me just quickly, I'll just look at something here. Okay, let's look at John chapter number seven. You know, mm. I wanted to talk a little bit about that position, that sonship and then the light. But maybe time will not permit, but let me just put this one here. Here is Jesus Christ coming to this festival in Jerusalem. Okay, one of the last festivals, the festival of light, mm -hmm. when he's confronted by this gossiping of the people. And uh, if we take it out from chapter number seven, if we read a little bit about from 25 coming, it says, now some of them from Jerusalem said, is this not he whom they seek to kill? But look, he speaks boldly mm. and they say nothing to him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is why, this is, this is truly the Christ? Now, pause there. Jesus Christ, these people are testifying now. They are reflecting something about a man, a person. Mm -hmm. And they see this person as Jesus. This Jesus, they say, is this not the Christ? Do they know that this is, this is, this, uh, is this, that this is truly the Christ? I mean, they know that the Christ, the Messiah, was, will, will come to exhibit something. Mm -hmm. Okay. But where is it going to come from? Let us continue. He says, however, we know where this man is from. But when the Christ comes, no one knows where he is from. Mm -hmm. In verse number 29, 28, he says that then Jesus cried out as he taught in the temple, saying, you both know me. And you know where I come from. And I have not come of myself, but he who sent me is true, whom you do not know. But mm -hmm. I know him, for I am from him, and he sent me. Let's just mm -hmm. end there. Mm -hmm. So Jesus sensing the dilemma of these people, mm -hmm. the confusion, the darkness that they were in, the ignorance. Mm -hmm. They were ignorant about the, 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 the characteristics of the Christ who was going to come. They were mm -hmm. confused that this is the Christ, but how come he's from so a place that we know of? Mm -hmm. And then he comes to tell them, to confirm to them mm -hmm. that he is the Christ by saying that where he comes from, he knows where he comes from, and then he is coming from, uh, 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 but he said, I, 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 but I know him for, for I am I'm from him, the one who sent me. Mm -hmm. Elsewhere, he tells the people, that he's, I mean, doing what the Father mm. has sent him to do. Yeah. He's never doing anything of himself, but he always does what he hears the Father say. Mm -hmm. What is the translation? The translation meaning that he's identifying himself mm -hmm. as the son, the mm. position that the Father has placed him. Mm. In Hebrews, he said, today you are my son, quoting, quoting, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Psalms. Yeah. Okay. So he's he's relaying to them 
that the, the, his, his position as a son, the one who speaks on behalf of the father, the one who does the things of the father, mm. the one who controls the empire of the father on behalf of the father. Mm -hmm. So we, in essence, what identifies us to be true sons mm -hmm. will be we exhibiting what the father wants. Mm -hmm. What has been praised? What the father is the father is not going to come down here mm -hmm. and then tell you to do this or to do that. But mm -hmm. we are going to do it and show you what the father wants to do. Mm -hmm. And we are going to be doing it so that you will know that this is what the father. Jesus never did anything and asked the people to do something else. Mm -hmm. He did what the father told him and told them to do what he has done. That's why I said, follow me, watch mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. do as I do. Mm -hmm. Right? So, yeah. basically, my small answer for your question with all this, what I'm, I've gone through, mm -hmm. is that to exhibit how to exhibit the true sonship mm. is to show the evidence of the will of the Father, mm -hmm. to demonstrate the will of the Father through our lives. Mm -hmm. and through our living, mm -hmm. both vocal and implicitly. Mm. That, is, that is what will identify us as a, as a father. Going to church doesn't as, uh, identify. Just speaking. Mm. Jesus did not say, I am the, I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm the son of God or I, I've come from the father and just that ended there. Mm. He did as was, re, I mean, was required mm -hmm. of a son. Mm. Again, I go to that your quotation, Isaiah. Mm. A child is born, a son mm. is given. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this son was supposed to do what? To administer the government shall be upon, upon his shoulder. Mm. What the administration of the father's will. Mm -hmm. Before then, before this this uh, this um a prophecy, mm -hmm. God Himself was almost like running the day-to-day -day affairs of the Jewish people, the mm -hmm. children of Israel. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now he said that now the son that I am appointing, the son that will come, now the government, the government is mean that the, 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 literally the management, the, mm -hmm. the administration of everything is now going to be his responsibility. Yes. So we, to demonstrate the sonship mm. is to govern. Mm. To demonstrate the true sonship is to govern. Mm. Jesus says, I did not come to lord it over you, but to serve. Mm -hmm. A governor serves the people. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I hope, I hope our listeners are, I, I mean, are, are trying to, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, follow what I'm trying to bring. Yeah. You see, so expecting the true sonship mm. requires us to be able to shoulder responsibilities. That is mm. governing, governance. Mm. Mm. True sons shoulder responsibilities of God. They yeah. exhibit the true nature of the Father. father. Mm. They, 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 they display the will of the Father and, mm. and, they, and, and are obedient to the Father's will mm. and the direction. When the Father says this, they don't go back and then misinterpret it or change it or mm -hmm. turn it as they, they see fit. Mm -hmm. But they implement exactly what the Father wants. Mm. Jesus Christ more than once said he was just implementing what, the, what he heard the Father say. Mm -hmm. What I hear my Father say, the Father say, is what I do. Mm -hmm. Implementation, governance. Amen. If I want to continue, I'm going to take the whole mm -hmm. time. So let's just mm -hmm. go here and see. Uh, let's <laughs> let's, 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 let's mm -hmm. let's stop together. Amen. 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 Is that is, so? Can we say that that's the reason why we see Jesus Christ um, fulfilling mm. most of the prophecies that were written concerning him in the volume of the books? Mm. Uh, because you can see some of the time he said uh, that these prophecies might be fulfilled mm -hmm. as it was written. You see, because it, it was written before he came. So, yes. to make sure that that assignment or whatever that was written, according to what he does, it confirms mm -hmm. that the Father is truly true. And yeah. whatever he said from the very beginning is what he came mm -hmm. to do. Mm. Yes, that is correct. That 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 is true. You could say that is what the 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 the, the, the writers saw. Mm -hmm. But when you look closely, 
Yeah. Jesus never went out, mm -hmm. okay, to fulfill prophecy. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, uh, friends, listen to me carefully. Mm. Take time and listen to what I'm saying now. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ did not go out there to fulfill prophecy. Mm -hmm. But as he walked, mm -hmm. prophecy was being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the writers or the followers observed it and captured it and wrote it down. He did not go to, to I mean, to, to fulfill prophecy that the prophecy I mean uh, said that the, the, the I mean the Messiah will open eyes and the blind will, the blind will see and the lame will walk. No, mm -hmm. but as he walked, mm -hmm. prophecy was being fulfilled. What am I saying? This mm -hmm. what I'm is that people are prone to do things to fulfill things. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I am the Son of God. And I've been given the power. I want to show, I want to explain the power. I want to show mm -hmm. that I am the son of God. So I'm going to do this. So that when mm -hmm. you see me, you know that I'm the son of God. No. Mm -hmm. That is you, your will, trying to do it. Mm -hmm. But as a son of God, it comes naturally. I mm -hmm. just use the sun and the moon as an example. The reflection. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. we go about in the, uh, 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 our identity as sons, as sons, mm -hmm. Is, is, is implemented or, or is exhibited mm -hmm. flawlessly without even we really acknowledging it. Mm -hmm. That's why I made a statement that Jesus Christ did not wake up every day going out trying to fulfill prophecy. Prophecy, yeah. But everything that came out of his mouth and everything that he did fulfilled prophecy. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do as sons. Prophecy de declares that sons carry governance, the sons mm -hmm. carry responsibilities. And so we'll go out there and exhibit these traits without even thinking twice about it that oh, this is mm -hmm. what we are doing. Mm -hmm. And I and if, I, we go, if, if we go out and we want to the reason why we fail, I mm -hmm. talked about this, I mean in one of our episodes, uh, uh the, uh, the believers struggles. struggles. Mm -hmm. Trying to, we are struggling to fulfill prophecy. Mm -hmm. We struggle want to fulfill prophecy, we want mm -hmm. to fulfill and make Jesus. I mean that like God is true. God doesn't need our help. Mm -hmm. Again, <laughs> God doesn't need anybody's help to do anything. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Just follow what he says mm -hmm. and then you'll be okay. Thank you. I'll go I'll go on Isaac. Uh, and, and, and I was going to say that the point that you are making, um, people might might think, you know, otherwise in in, in a sense that oh. Um, Jesus really did not go out of his way to fulfill prophecy. And, but it's true. The, the, the point is, as he abides in the Father and the Father abides in him, automatically things follow through. That's it's why I not, said that people, people should and, take their time to listen. Exactly. Before, so if you, you have to be careful to listen to what I'm saying. Exactly. Exactly. If if we are not careful to to study Jesus Christ and his life, uh, we might not understand that point. But it is important to, to see him in the Father. And um, as you rightly said, um, to fulfill the will of the Father is the priority. It's not going about to fulfill prophecy. That is the priority. But in 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 union with the Father and in um, fulfilling the will of the Father, prophecy is also fulfilled. And therefore, it is important we see that point from that 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 that, that point of view. And what I will say is, um, our bishop. Our father made a point concerning sonship that when in the tradition of the Israelites or in the culture of the Jews, when the, 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 the son come of age, come of age, even as we are discussing the point as to um, sonship in the body of Christ, it is important to realize that as we, by God's grace and mercy, 
through Jesus Christ and through the ministration of the Holy Spirit, we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We are all, we all become the children of God. And therefore, even as we went to that um, point in Isaiah chapter 9, verse um, 6, for us, a child is born. We are all born again in the spirit when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We are all children. But to us, a son is given. Jesus, as a child, was born by Mary. But as a son, was given by God unto us for the glory of God. And so when we study the life of Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us his birth. And it tells us that Jesus Christ, the God in man, the word that has manifested into flesh, full of grace and truth, grew up in stature and wisdom. He has come of age. And when he came out of age, at the age of 30, the son, the, the child grew up to be 30. The, 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 the God man live on earth and the close heaven for 30 years. And in during that time, he was growing up from childhood into sonhood under the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And therefore, when he reached the point of 30 years, and when he reached the point when he has been taught and discipled by the Holy Spirit, now is the time for him to be given. And so for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son. The child was born by let the us, son. Let us, let us, let us, let us, let us, let us, let us be careful when we make certain statements because yes. we are going, we are going in a, a different direction. You see, it's not about, it's not really mm. about how long before he started the ministry. Mm. Okay. The moment he was born, the 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 authors the the bible i mean uh writers tell us about his his young age and his growing up mm -hmm. okay and uh, and then how he grew up and at the age mm -hmm. when he was born mm. it, it, it it's not naturally it's not like it's uh he had to be 30 years before he became a son in that mm. maturity mm. he was born he was born as a son. Mm. Children are given to us in a different nature. That the Isaiah scripture is trying to tell us the difference between mm. being a child and being a son mm -hmm. in the Jewish in the Jewish tradition. Okay, mm. uh, children, and then they are children in the house, but there is a son. Mm. They, they 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 can be they can be. I mean, uh. uh, uh Children uh, of the male gender, mm -hmm. uh, but one of them, they are all sons, but one of them will be called the mm -hmm. son. That mm -hmm. is the one who inherited. Yeah. Sometimes it usually is the, the eldest one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we, sh we, 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 we should be careful when we are trying to put this in the way. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, when he was born, right from the beginning, mm -hmm. that Mary gave birth to him. Mm -hmm. He was given. That was what God gave. Mm. This the, his salvation to the world mm -hmm. did not only begin on the cross, but mm -hmm. began from the right from his birth. Mm. Everything about him growing up until was all towards his final, I mean, act that would be on the cross. Mm -hmm. So um, when we when we when, when we when we are when we are talking about. Uh, mm -hmm. but his his age and before then we are mm -hmm. going we are we we we, we will I mean uh, fall into the trap 
mm -hmm. of, of trying to uh, see him growing in mm -hmm. the wisdom before he started doing all this mm -hmm. thing. So then mm -hmm. uh, people who are born again as Christians mm -hmm. will have to reach some maturity before they are called mm -hmm. that they have been the, the sons of God. Mm -hmm. But Paul clearly makes us understand that when we are born, the mm -hmm. Spirit comes, we are adopted mm -hmm. as sons. Mm -hmm. our, our adoption as sons does not, I mean, begin when we mature as believers. Mm -hmm. But our adoption is as son, as sonship, mm -hmm. begins when we are mm -hmm. I mean, uh, born again. That's why Paul, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, talks about uh, the sin, uh, mm -hmm. the law, the, the, the law, and then grace as being that the law being the teacher, teaching the younger one until they come out of age, then mm -hmm. they can take over, right? Over, but yeah. it, 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 the, the, the one who, who is the inheritor does not mm -hmm. seem to be the inheritor. Mm -hmm. it's only that it, they, they don't they are not given the, the, the keys right mm -hmm. away there. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. until a time the teacher brings them to a position, mm -hmm. right? But mm -hmm. they still the prince, the prince who is going to inherit inherit mm -hmm. the throne mm -hmm. right, right from the time that is born. Mm -hmm. that title yes whether they are young or not so mm -hmm. what i'm going to say is that let us not read too much into that into mm -hmm. that into that angle if, if we do we will we will, we will mm -hmm. lose track of the, the central point that the question mm -hmm. asks amen amen thank you um bishop for 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 bringing us into that understanding and and that 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 is right and it's important yes we we, we get that point um but I was coming from that point that you made that um, when the person come of age, yes, when we are born again in Christ, we are all children and sons of God. But we have to come of age to exhibit sonship. When we come of age, we, 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 we do the father's work. It doesn't come automatically from the, the, the point we, we receive Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And so, for example, when we read Galatians chapter 3, um, getting to the end from 26, coming to Galatians chapter 4, it says, You are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male or female, for you are all one in Christ. If mm. you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Then Galatians chapter 4 verse 1 says, What I'm saying is that as long as the heir is a child, he is no different from a slave. Although he owns the whole estate, he is subject to guidance and trustees until the time set by his father. Until the time set by his father. And so we are all children of God and sons from the word go. Mm -hmm. But for us to take our position for us to come of age to exercise the authority, the power to fulfill the father's will and be the governor of the father's estate, it, it, it takes time. It takes, it takes maturity. It takes it's... maturity. Correct. And that's why Jesus as a pattern man, I was giving Jesus life as an example for us born as children of God to the time of sonship. It takes maturity. Just as in the natural, we are born as children and it takes time for us to grow into adulthood. Likewise, we are all born children of God and we are sons from the set goal. But for us to exercise sonship authority and privileges, it takes maturity. And therefore, if we want to know who the son is and whatsoever, we must also um, take notice that it takes 
time. And moreover, it, it, it calls on us to submit and to follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit, the guidance and the direction, the teachings of the Holy Spirit. And that's why it is very important for us, as the Apostle Paul wrote in his letters, that we must be careful not to give the Holy Spirit and to quench the Holy Spirit. Because all those who will grow into sonship are those who are led by the Spirit. And therefore, we must learn to obey the direction and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. If we must exercise the authority and the privilege that comes with sonship. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Eric. So that brings you to the other, uh, other question. So um, talking about maturity and uh, as we have, uh, have engaged in the sonship, who a son is, is it um, how we align that uh, how much we align with the spirit of God that that brings us quickly into that sonship, or it takes us uh, uh, time as as time as people living in the in the in, the, in time based, or it mm. takes uh, how much of uh, we aligning with truly with the spirit of God that makes us really reach that maturity. I I I I believe strongly it it it, it does not take time as in as in time as we know it but it depends on our alignment and commitment to the holy spirit and his leadership and um guidance if and and we say it takes time because you know the the, the sin nature left a body in us and that's why in romans chapter 12 um verse 1 and 2 tells about the renewing of the body, uh, the renewing of the mind, the renewing of the mind. The, the old nature left a body, as Brother Emmanuel, you, you, you talk about the, um, the computer mm -hmm. and, and the hard drive and the, all those things that you make. You see, now the old nature left something in us and so we must allow ourselves we must cooperate with the holy spirit for regeneration you see what is in our spirit to come to manifest in the flesh and that's what makes it taste time but really is the degree or the level of our commitment or alignment with the holy spirit that determines the period of sonship amen amen uh one thing talking about sonship and, and how we exhibit it also brings brings to mind the fact that there are people who could be sons who are in the position but yet they are not exhibiting the true nature of sonship. Mm. You see, being the son as we are saying, I like I like the viewers and the listeners to understand that it is not it is not a cut and paste mm -hmm. that because you become the son then you automatically you you do that what a son does even mm -hmm. though that is what is supposed to be with the Holy Spirit in us. Mm -hmm. Remembering that God also has not made us zombies mm -hmm. and has given us a free will. Mm -hmm. The prodigal son was still as much a son to the father mm -hmm. as the elder son. Yeah. And yet he was not, he did never, he did, he did not exhibit the characteristics of a true sonship. Mm -hmm. He was not a good manager, a good steward. Mm -hmm. He did what was abomination to go to the father and ask for his his wealth whilst the father was still alive. <laughs> that is not a, that is not the nature, the characteristics of a true son. Mm. And he went out there and then spent it. That was not a characteristic, but he still mm -hmm. remained the son of the father. Mm -hmm. That's what I want us to caution. That's why I, sometimes mm -hmm. when we are getting deeper and deeper, I like to 
draw us a little bit back into mm -hmm. the central aspect so that we can focus on something that will benefit people a lot. Mm -hmm. There are people who have believed as John John uh, John one uh, is it a uh, 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 twelve says that mm -hmm. many has believed in him where he gave them the power to be called to come out the children of God. They are children mm -hmm. of God. There are there are people who have believed, and uh, mm -hmm. as Paul has uh, been indicated that we have been adopted and we are sons. But mm -hmm. we are sons. But there are some within who are just like the prodigal son, mm -hmm. not exhibiting the true nature. Mm -hmm. They are not. They are. They are not doing what the father. They know what the father wants us. Want them to do, mm. but they are not doing it. Yeah, that is why we have this. So many, I mean, denomination all around. Mm. That's why we have them around like that. Mm. You know, because every people are trying to become the sons, not mm -hmm. of the father, mm -hmm. but as the sons of themselves. Mm. They take the position. And they want to invent it into what they mm -hmm. want. That's that's exactly what the, what what, that, what the prodigal son did. Mm -hmm. You have been adopted. You have been born as a son. Mm -hmm. But then instead of allowing the father to train you or to bring you into the, the right way of doing things, you take this into your own hands. And uh, even though you are the son, you stray away, just mm -hmm. like the prodigal son. So mm. Mm. Uh, that's one thing I just want us to be a little bit cautious about you and then let our, our, our listeners know. Because mm. somebody might say, oh, well, maybe because, uh, maybe, maybe how, how do I see myself as a son? Mm. Or if I'm a son, why am I not benefiting from mm -hmm. the, 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 the position as a son? Yeah. Because the son has everything of the father. Mm -hmm. So why, why am I struggling? Mm. Yes, the same son was 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 yearning to eat the, the food of the pigs mm -hmm. but that did not make him any less a son he was still a son mm -hmm. but he did not get good food why because of what he took into his own hands yes and that is what i believe some of us or some of us in the, in the believers body are facing now mm. amen. amen i don't know if you might if it's answering any of your questions it, it answers and it opens up another question so <laughs> but but before before that um let me chip in this one um if, even as we see the, um jesus christ going about teaching the people there's one thing even as um bishop was talking about that 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 um, stands out a few things you know when he talks about coming of age when he talks about um, the son is more concerned about the will of the father coming into pass. You know, it's about, you know, executing the, the desires of the father. You see? The true and son. So, the true son. We remember we're talking son. about the true son. Yes. Yes. That's yes. the true and, 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 Yeah. <laughs> and so in Matthew chapter 6, when teachers um Jesus was teaching them about the pattern of prayer, in says verse ten, he 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 he, he says, "Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth or in earth as it is in heaven." You see, that's. That's the most important thing. And we see the life of Jesus Christ from the age of 12, when the Mary and Joseph were looking for him and they come to meet him. He says, don't you know that I must go about doing the will of my father? And therefore on the cross, he cried out, it is finished. What is finished? It is finished with me doing the will of the father. And therefore sons, must go about making the will of the father the most priority in their life. The true sons. When, true sons. And when we do that, uh, when we do that, uh, you see the rest of the prayer goes about give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our debt. Those things comes after the will of the father is done when the will of the father is done the kingdom of god 
is established. And when the kingdom is manifested, there is even no need for us to pray for our daily bread because the kingdom comes with our daily bread. The right. kingdom comes with everything that we need and want. And therefore, to encourage us that to be the true sons, the true sons of God, we must make the desires of the heart of the Father, the will of the Father, our priority. It does not matter what we feel. It does not matter what we think. It does not matter what we know. The will of the Father is our priority and it's our first, first most important thing. Amen. 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 God bless you, Brother Isaac. Uh, like I told you, time is, 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 is not on our side. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, whichever way, the Holy Spirit will always have his, his way and uh, will make us know what he wants us to know. So, so um, that, was, that was what was making me ask that question. Because for, when I was studying this John, this book of John, where the Holy Spirit began to open things, or when I was asking those uh, questions, that, wh why is it that, that we have a lot of people in the name of Christ as the sons of God, but uh, uh they are in the territories of darkness, and darkness is still uh mm -hmm. penetrating even into what they, they bring together. That's mm -hmm. our father said, Some of us come by our own will, like the prodigal son did, go mm -hmm. the way try to help God. Mm -hmm. You know, some, some, some ministries seek to help God to showcase God and try to, like he rightly said, Jesus Christ did not come to, to, to mm -hmm. fulfill prophecies, but his life. Because his life was already in the Father, as John said mm -hmm. from the very, very beginning. In the beginning mm -hmm. was with God, and it was God. So mm -hmm. God knew whatever that he was going to do. So he, it, it, the prophecy were even written according to the life that he had in God. Exactly. So his life on this earth was automatically checking all mm -hmm. those boxes for us. Mm -hmm. Right? So until we, 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 we allow the Spirit of God come in. You see, mm -hmm. Bishop, I don't know if you remember, I brought this scripture to you, um, Psalms 24, verse 7. Mm -hmm. It was it was down to that same um same questions that I began to ask God in in prayer that how can we be the sons of God and we still go through all these things when he, he gave me that scripture uh, twenty four verse seven he said lift up your heads oh you get let the king of glory come in mm -hmm. when then you you gave me that explanation that until we let him come in you yes. see that we cannot be seen because mm -hmm. he, he is the light. And that mm -hmm. life, he said, disperses darkness. But if mm -hmm. we, we, we don't mirror that life and we want to do it the way we want to do it, then, of course, we, we, we cannot displace the darkness. And at the end of the day, the darkness itself will, will, will take hold mm -hmm. of uh, the, 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 the little that we have. And then we, we lose it. Mm -hmm. But if we will allow him come in mm -hmm. and come and take his place and lead us through it, mm -hmm. then we can mirror Mm -hmm. That's why I say, as we see him, we are transformed, we become like him. So the mm -hmm. more and more we study, we, the more and more we draw in close fellowship with him and allow him to come and teach us. Because mm -hmm. don't forget, he said, he created everything and nothing was created without him. Yeah. So if nothing was created without him, he's the one that created us. And mm -hmm. we put our own will in our own hands and do whatever we want to do. Mm -hmm. How? Can we displace darkness? Because new darkness, the devil did not have to manifest darkness before he knew. He said mm -hmm. he saw it in his heart mm -hmm. before he even manifested it. Yes. So he, he already sees through us in everything. Mm -hmm. Bishop. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's okay. Go ahead. What, 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 what just comes to mind is that is it? Mm. It is the perfect tactics of our enemy, our arch enemy, the devil, mm -hmm. to make us see ourselves. In a different way than God sees us. Mm -hmm. Remember that it was pride mm -hmm. of, 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 of Lucifer who wanted to be like God mm. that brought him down. Mm. And now, as much as we are born and our sons, and we mm -hmm. are uh, illuminating the Father born mm -hmm. in his image, the devil is always trying to bring even those who have come into fellowship that they mm -hmm. are not in the image of God, they, they try to be like God. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, he wants to impress upon us that we are not like God. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be, try to do something, do something to be to like be God. Like God. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. He's trying to let us, and then so people are bought into it. Mm -hmm. And they are trying to be who they already are. Mm -hmm. And by mm -hmm. so doing, everything is distorted. Mm -hmm. And he sits back and laughs. Your time mm -hmm. is up. I don't know. If I, if I want to <laughs> go out, we will take another one hour. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 
I rest my case. Hallelujah. And mm-hmm. uh, so, unfortunately, unfortunately, the time is up. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, we can't go further than that because we only ask for an hour. So it's fair that we we, we, we honor our promise and we honor our time as well. So, viewers, um, we thank God for another time. And uh, it's, 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 it's a joy. It's a joy when, when, when the truth is coming out for us to all see because this is the time. God is uh, urging us because... Uh, the things that overwhelm us, the things that we have put ourselves that are, are, are become shackles on our feet. God is bringing us into, he wants to open our eyes to those things so that we can shake them off. It is a time for us to stop, to stop living the mediocre life. Come into the rule of sons mm-hmm. and take on and administer and allow the spirit of God lead us into what he has for us so that the very creation that is in bondage, we can also free them up because mm-hmm. don't forget, it's not just us. Even mm-hmm. creation itself is in bondage. So we should not mm-hmm. think about just us. If it's just for us, then we are lost. But mm-hmm. God is counting on us to free the system, free and bring that governance into place so that we can manifest or push back darkness so that uh, everything that God created can find its expression within him. Mm-hmm. So I urge you as you go through the week, continue to ponder over these words we are spoken. Continue to give yourself to the word and continue to fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Ask him to come in and to open the eyes of your understanding, to bring you to that place that he has put every inheritance in Christ Jesus so that you first sit with him. We will learn to walk with him and we will learn to stand with him through all things so that we can together lay hold on everything that he has for us. Hallelujah. And I believe he has done that through Christ Jesus. It's time for us to open up ourselves with him. Let the king of glory come in. God bless you for staying tuned with us. God bless you for giving us your time. And God bless you also for being in tune with the Spirit of God at this moment. Go forth in that peace. Go forth in that understanding. Grow in Him. Mature in Him and lay hold over everything that He has for you. And let the peace of God that surpasses all understanding find you in the entirety of your family, reaching out to the entirety of your community and building a stronger nation. God bless you for joining us in today's Desert Evangelism. The road less traveled. Same time we'll be here, God willing, next week, 11 a.m. Eastern time. Join us as we bring you much more uh, messages from God Almighty by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Till we meet the same time next week. It's bye bye from Desert Evangelism. Bye. God bless you.